Have you got a query that takes a really, really long time to refresh? Maybe by adding list.buffer, you can take that query from super slow to super fast. And that's what we're going to do in this video. We're going to tackle a common scenario and see how we can take the refresh time down from 20 seconds to under one second. So if you're ready, let's get started. Here we are in Excel and we have two tables. The first table is called data and it contains a hundred rows. The second table is called list and it contains the items that we want to filter our data table by. Let's start by adding these tables into Power Query. And here we are in Power Query with our data query and our list query. Let's now filter our data query by our list. To start with, we're just going to build this manually. So from the item column, we're going to filter by let's just say the first three items. I'll then click OK. So this filters by Alpha, Bravo and Charlie, but we want to filter by the items in the list. Therefore, we're going to edit the code in the formula bar. And instead of that hard coded list, we're going to use the list.contains function. As you can see, this function indicates whether the list contains the value and it has two arguments. The first argument is the list and the second argument is the value. So let's start with the list argument. We have our list in our list table and we want the column that's also called list. If we take a column from a table that converts that column into a list. Our next argument is the value and we want to filter based on the value in our item column. Square brackets, I'll add item. And then we can commit that formula. That now gives us the query that only shows the items that we filtered for. We can now close and load this query back to Excel. And here is the table of our results. It has just 42 rows. To update our query, we just click refresh all and it just takes a second or so. But we have a problem because at the moment we have 100 rows. But what if we had 100,000 rows? So let me go and add these rows into our table. Okay, our table now has 100,000 rows. And I'm going to click refresh all. And finally, after 20 seconds, our query has loaded. That is way too long for us to wait. So let's go and see how we can speed up this query. We are going to use list.buffer. This function stores the result of a query in memory. In the M code, we are using the each keyword. That means it's looping through and calculating the function once for each row in the table. Therefore, it's re-evaluating the list query 100,000 times. Instead, by using list.buffer, we tell Power Query to save the state of the list query. As a result, it only calculates the list query once and becomes more efficient. Here we are back in Power Query and we are going to use the list.buffer function. To do that, before we filter the rows, we're going to add a new step. So I'll click on the FX icon, and yes, I want to insert a new step. Initially, that will appear with the previous step name. We don't need that. Instead, we're going to use the list.buffer function. This accepts a single argument, which is the list that we want to buffer. That will be our list table, and then our column was also called list. When we commit that, we now get that value as a list. Let's come across to our applied steps and let's rename this to buffer list. Next, we want to come to our last step and you'll notice we now have an error. And that's because Power Query automatically changed our code when we added that new step. So let's change our query back to its previous state. And the table that we should have been working with was our step before we added our buffer list. 
and that step is our changed type step. So let's add that, changed type. When we commit that, we now get back to our previous state. Now, instead of referencing our list table and our list column, we are now going to reference our buffer list. I'll now commit that step and that's it, we're done. We can now close and load those changes back into Excel. Here we are back in Excel and let's test out our refresh speed. I'll click refresh all and there we go. That's all it took less than one second. So by adding list.buffer, it significantly improved our refresh time. If we filter by a list in Power Query, as the number of rows increases, it becomes very slow to refresh. With 100,000 rows, filtering on eight items and returning 30,000 rows, it took approximately 20 seconds for that query to refresh. However, by adding list.buffer, it significantly increases refresh speed and those 100,000 rows can refresh in just 0.8 seconds. And here in the chart, you can see with list.buffer, the refresh time is significantly shorter. And that's it. That's how we can use list.buffer to significantly increase refresh speed. If you like this video, then why not subscribe and get notifications so you don't miss any of our future videos. And once you've done that, why not watch this video next? It contains a lot more awesome Power Query techniques. So thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.